good morning. Sorry, the TV's a bit loud. We're watching it and we're watching the chase. So I'll turn it back up now in a minute. But today's a new day. We're still out here on the holy hook for Valentine's Day. And guess what day it is today, Sarah? Valentine's Day. What? Yep. It is the actual day of Valentine's. So spread the love. Hope you have a good Valentine's, guys. We are up now. We uh, got a little phone call from down down below. So they're preparing a our uh, Valentine's breakfast meal. So should be up here soon. Uh, but after that, we'll pretty much get going and go places. And we want to get to another museum kind of type of place today, don't we? Yeah. yeah. That's the plan. So enjoy this vlog, guys. Let's go. Look at this romantic little breakfast we have this morning, huh? I got a fruit smoothie. Nice. I got a little milk, so... Eh. Can you grab it? Yeah, it's, it feels 3D. <laughs> I also got juice. Nice. Orange juice. Oh, this food reveal, here we go. We've got toast! Wow! We've got the toast. You know what, they should have put like, got a print of like a heart or something yeah. like, for today. Like. Okay. What do we have? Okay, a little bit. Take your milk off. They even gave us some condiments. Oh, sorry. It's going towards your chest there for a minute. Please don't. Okay, then underneath this one. Ooh. Sausage, egg, and bacon. That is my one. So that's grooms. Obviously, they gave us cutlery, which is funny. Nice. And then this one is mine. Sarah's reveal. Sassy and bacon! Nice. Nice. Okay, don't take the tray. There we go. There's our food. There it is. And they didn't miss out on that, and they even. So, milk wasn't an option, so you get this to put on your door. So, you do for your. Food Show it down here because you're, you're not decent for this vlog this morning. <laughs> so you get this to put on your door and you take what you and your guest want but milk isn't an option so I just wrote milk. And I got it. And they gave him a glass of milk which is pretty cool. I think we should just put an option as two toast or something maybe. I was think, think that was the only... No I did. I took toast twice. Oh, we just didn't get it. No, you just get a slice each. Okay. That'd be fine. Very nice. We're going to chow down on this lovely breakfast. Yeah. And we are watching Facebook, it's gone on break, so, but, yeah. Hey guys, uh, we're going to exchange cards before we start eating our breakfast. So here's my one. Happy Valentine's. Thank you. Can you be my Valentine? Of course. I asked a second time. Of course you I love it when you take charge. And it's two phones. Two phones. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because you, you don't do it too often, but it is a rare thing. So, uh, you know, that's why I say when I do like it when you take charge. Yeah. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day and a great holiday. I love you loads with all my heart. I hope you like the presents I got you, baby. You are my rock, my life jacket, my everything. I am the luckiest guy in the world. To have an amazing woman like you. Love you loads, Sarah Small. Koala there! You put koala there in! I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy, Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Okay, now I'm going to give Graham his card. So here you go. So it says Graham Big Bear Panda Bear. Ah, we both, we both used the, our, our, our little our, nicknames. Our aliases. <laughs> our aliases. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be really funny. I was looking at this in Tesco, so I was gonna 
pick up the same card, thank god I changed. See it says 101% because 101 Dalmatians! Huge. Wait, that's so weird. It, it, it like sits over it. Yeah, isn't it cute? Right. Two Grain Big Bear. This Valentine's has been the best one ever. I've loved morning. Uh, I love planning this holiday, which is, uh, you know, exactly. Do you want me to read it? No. Uh, how to treat me and how to look after me. Happy Valentine's. You're always there for me when I need you. I couldn't ask for a better partner or friend to spend my life with. I love you to the moon and back. Love from Sarah Smallbury. Oh, Thank you, Sarah. Happy You're Valentine's. welcome. Now we are going to dig into the food. Yeah, ads here you know this is the way they pronounce it on like tv you know so like ikea when there's an ikea basically ad it's just like only stuff that we buy the best here at ikea <laughs> and there was a car there ikea. but um guys going pretty well this morning uh breakfast was delish wasn't it sir just tasty bit of stuff nice i will call in for you know, the start of Valentine's. I am ready, so I am. Got my jeans on, I got my reddish shirt. Basically, you know, the colour of love. <laughs> and Sarah's currently doing her muck up over there. Hello to the people. Hello. So, that's what she's doing. I also have my bag packed. I don't need very much in it, but, you know, I have uh, my insulin. Which I've took as well for my for our breakfast, um, then I have my wallet and my pass just for well my BIOS just in case. Uh, that just always comes with my wallet basically. It's a twofer, you know. Um, so I got my money basically. Um, what else? Oh, I have a postcard. By the time it gets down, because it's being sent this week and where our videos. This is more likely to be a ne next week video for us. It might be a today video for you, you know. But I have a postcard going to be sent down to a family of mine. So you know who you are. So I hope you love the postcard sent down to you. Izzy, hello. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. I need to just put on my jacket. I'm going to just, I'm not going to wear the jumper today. I'm going to just throw on the jacket, just for a bit of warmth. It is a bit... Like, I can't see much there. Also, there's our cards. Or we, uh, as you've seen in the video, we uh, exchanged cards. But uh, it's not too bad today. You can see, you can feel the nip, basically, because I have the window open. But, uh, you know, it's nice to air the room out, and then we'll slap on the heat when we get back, you know. Um, but yeah, all ready to go. Sarah's doing her makeup and she'll be getting dressed. I also made Sarah a coffee as well. Um, just hotel co coffee, you know. It seems to be all right in this sir. It's not Starbucks, but you know, it's it's coffee. It's coffee. It's coffee. I might make a cup of tea later. I might have another drink later. You never know. Yeah. 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 I might look for a bottle opener and then I can actually get a bar. Just a cheap one, like, because I have a good, a good enough bottle, or open, uh, yeah, bottle opener at home, which is, oh, I think, I feel like I've shown it to you, so, uh, the Thanos and Filthy got it, where you, um, it's like the glove and you hook it like that, it's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I might get a bottle tonight, maybe. Had a bit of Jack and Coke last night, and Sarah had a Malibu. That was nice. Coke, was it good? Yeah. That was good. And I didn't know. Like I said, yeah, I didn't know. I know you like Smirnoff and Coke, was it? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, but then I Chase is on in the background as well, but uh, should be going soon. So more content. Um, also spreading, spreading more Valentines, you know. Um, I, Sarah will show you. Oh, well, I will show you the stuff. I, I have already kind of exchanged Valentine's gifts, which I will just show you, and Sarah will show you what she got for Valentine's. 
and uh, Sarah's buying my gift tomorrow, which I'll throw the. There might be a random clip for tomorrow in this um, clip, just as part of it. Also, throwing in the hot chocolates that were recorded for Valentine's, basically, because we couldn't bring the chocolate <coughs> chocolate bombs with us because there's no frosher here, and I'm not, we're not bringing it. It's just more shit to bring out, you know? But, uh, yeah, and she got a nice little rose as well, which I like. I can see in the mirror. It's right there, like... The little rose. The rose? Oh. Yeah. Did you forget about that? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. I've been rambling so much. But anyway. Right. Graham's getting his jacket on. I'm all done with my makeup. And my outfit. I was wearing that dress. But I just didn't like how it sat here. On my stomach. So... Instead, I've got my leather skirt on that has my little belt. I also have shorts on underneath that has this little design on it, which I think is so cute. My generic tights. I have two pairs. This comes with shorts as well, so I also have like double the shorts on. Uh, my tights, my high tops. I have this little top. I do have a string top on underneath because this is like one that sits just here. So it's not a crop. But it's not like a long top either, so it can go up a bit. So I do have a string top on underneath for layer, for just for layers as well. But I absolutely love the sleeves on this. It's my bat wing kind of sleeve, which I'm obsessed with. Nails are off, sadly. Came off in the shower. Most of them did. Well, not most of them. About three or four came off in the shower slash bat. Oh, the light. Oh. This light. I thought the automatically turned off when you took the yoke out. We're leaving the window open to keep the room cool because you can always turn the heat on when we get back. So we can. Um, but yeah, that is my outfit and we're about to head out. I'm not really bringing a jumper or a jacket with me because I'm covered in layers. So she'll be alright though. It's not too bad out, is it? Hello, sir. Hello. Alright guys, we are out and about as usual. So we're heading. Whoa, that was a strong smell. Yeah. Uh, no we're heading in now to do stuff away from the hotel. So let's see what we can do. You guys, we are in Freet and Manager. Yeah. So, Arm Manager. Yeah. Freet Arm Manager. It's a new spot. Yeah. So I got a fruit cooler basically. Um, there's pasta food, red lemonade. Uh, Etc. Basically, and it tastes really good. Sarah, what'd you get? I got a caramel mocha. Nice. 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 Alright guys, we are finished our little uh, sit down for, for a few minutes. And we're heading again, so let's go. It is starting to spit unfortunately. Yeah. But hopefully we won't be out in it too long. That's I the... may end up having another shower later, but if it does. Yeah. I'll get soaked because I didn't bring my freaking jacket. We'll see. Alright guys, we're back over here, take two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, does it work this time? We're at Trinity College going into the Book of Kells. So, <laughs> let's see how it goes. Can I say something? What? Graham gave me his jacket. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was getting soaked. And he gave me his jacket. <laughs> ah, isn't he a sweetheart? Yeah. Uh, so, we're going to go in guys, so we'll see you in there. Alright guys, we are here, we have our tickets, so let's go in and have a look, sir, yeah? It's pretty cool. So much, so much in there. Alright. Uh, no, no. Right, guys, we're literally in beauty and peace. Sorry, where is Sarah said? It's my little big giant globe there, like hologram globe, which is quite cool. We're like in beauty and the beast and like Star Wars, so it's quite cool. So it is. Look at the size of this. This is. <laughs> This is massive. 
Oh, that makes me dizzy. Because <laughs> we're, we're, we're on that. <laughs> That's the Book of Kells experience. Got a few bits. We'll probably do an overhaul tomorrow night. Yeah, uh, as a little haul video, you know. I am very proud of us. Like. I'm very proud of us that we haven't like overspent. Yeah. We've only kind of gotten the bare minimum, like. Yeah, well, that's it. We're gonna have a little look up here, guys. There's you a little. There's a, like an apple of Eden kind of thing, <laughs> and a very gamer-like uh, Assassin's Creed. Is, but anyway. Sure, should be a plaque or something, shouldn't there? Think. This yeah, thing. Anyway. This thing here, guys, reminds me of Assassin's Creed. Uh, JJ, if you are looking at this, this could be for you as well. JJ likes Assassin's Creed, so he does. I'm not going to lie to you guys, we just forgot on the vlog. Um, I did have a burger, basically. Uh, we had seasoned fries. And we have Coca Cola and Coke Zero. So we do. Chocolate yeah. And That's cute. Isn't it? Yeah. That's so cute. But, uh, yeah, burger was delicious, so it was, uh, you know, chips. Can't go wrong. But we're in Abercrombie, basically. We will be going and going into other shops. Yes. So we will in a few minutes. So we're just chilling here for a minute or two, and then we'll get going again, yeah? You need Sarah needs to wake up a bit more. She's very down on herself. Um. God knows how long it'll take when her, for herself to say this on her life goals, so I'm saying it now. But uh, send us some love on Valentine's here for Sarah, and hopefully she'll enjoy her day, so she will. Hey guys, we are in the Stevens Green area now. Sarah's in there looking at Pearsons and all that, and Claire's. So yeah. But then I, we only were just in the uh, Disney. Disney. Yeah, went to Lego store and went to the Disney store. And now we're back here at Butler's. So, again, Sarah, her Valentine's chocolates. I was picking up uh, Lint Mint, but the, the shops were proper, like, sat, like craziest bit of stuff. So, yeah, we're here. <laughs> Sarah got some chalkies. You want to show them? I got a custom made, guys. Custom made box. Custom made box with Sarah's favorite chocolate in it. So she did. She got. So we're going to. We're in the shop. Oh, did we even? <laughs> we the no, I think that's the ice cream place that you were thinking. <laughs> but we're going to oh, go the into this sweet shop today, and we're going to go into the other sweet shop tomorrow. Let's go. Hey guys, we are in uh, Goldenness now. There's Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Um, we're having a look around here, looking at the DVDs and the merch and all that stuff. So, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, guys. Hello. <laughs> what? The well? No. Oh. Oh, he's so cute. Cuteness. Right, guys, we are at the Vuist stop. We're gonna get it over to the main side again because we're gonna make our way back kind of to the hotel, see how we do with time. And then we're. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hopefully, the portrait place is open. Yeah, if so not, we're not gonna lose sleep and we'll do it tomorrow. So, you know, it'll just yeah, be a day, a move and move and move, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, if it's not open, sure, we'll head back to the hotel because we're not going out for dinner until about five, half five. Say and five. And it's literally just there. Yeah. Because we want to sit down and enjoy yeah. it, you know. So, so I might get changed into a different outfit. You yeah. never know. Coolie woolly. So we're waiting for Lewis and I. As I say on this air. Boone's Bridge, Balls Bridge, whatever. I don't know, I can't read through the, whip, through the roof. Okay, we're going to check, guys, but we're <laughs> going to get to Lewis. Um, that was a bit of a crack, wasn't it? That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. We might do it tomorrow. <laughs> I was thinking that. So I was not? like, maybe Very go different. back tomorrow. Yeah, and it's only six quid, like. And so. you get two. Yeah. You get two yolks with it. Yeah. For six euro, which is really good. Yeah, good apple, so it is. You take. 
six photos and you pick your favourite four. Yeah. There you go. Cut two copies of it. Yeah. Which is really good. So I think tomorrow we might do it. I don't know if we'll use props tomorrow. Maybe we'll just take funny photos. Yeah, I think funny photos would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Funny cute photos. Yeah. We'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. And pick our favourite four and get another another two. Yeah. That'd be fun. Okay. Yep. So we're heading out back to the hotel now. Just so, for a little bit. Just for a little bit to relax and then we'll go out, excuse me. Uh, we'll go out and get dinner. Yep. Right guys, so I had a nip into your shop there. Uh, pick up a bottle opener so I can get a bottle tonight instead of a can. And picked up uh, scissors to get me eyebrows done tonight by Sarah and to open the uh, face stuff and all that, so heading to Tesco to get some more drinks. Fans better. We are back to the hotel. Whoop, whoop. We made it. Hello. We just have about an hour to rest or so. We're leaving here at half four so we can get going. There's actually a bit of a walk down, so it is. Because I might have well just walk to the cinema and let you walk it to myself because that's where the your shop is. Oh. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, we'll have a bit of walk to go to, so, but anyway, we are in the hotel, relaxing. I'm, I'm just, just at, in the pyjama bottoms. <laughs> I'm just in the door. There's Sarah's little friend, little penguin friend. He was originally 30 quid. Wow. And I got him for seven. This is Nature Geographic. National Geographic. Nar National Geographic. Uh, penguin, so it is, from the Disney store. So. I do have an outfit pick for later, by the way. I'm wearing my jeans instead of my skirt. Yeah. So, so we're just going to chill here, enjoy Valentine's, yeah. you know? Yeah. Don't worry, we'll get back to the lovey-dovey stuff, you know? The uh, dinner, a the, bit tired the movie, the and I picked up drink as well, so we're going to have a cheeky old drink tonight, are we? Two. Two cheeky drinks tonight. Wow. That'll be three I've had on this holiday. Well, oh, very People that don't drink as uh, like as we as often that normal people drink, it's just a random thing. So we're just away. Sure, we get back, we might have a drink, or we will yeah. actually might have a drink, drink on Saturday, night. Saturday night. But, but then that's after it. That, that's it. God, those are will have another one. Yeah, that's it. But anyway, I work on brewery, so none that I can say. But this one definitely. I probably God knows what, when all because I all gotta happens. taste the beer before the beer goes. But anyway, sorry for over talking to you. You were saying. No, just saying God he knows when I'll have another drink. Yeah. So, we're Irish, but not pure Irish people. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to chill. Yeah. Yeah. And we have uh, a goobers. Goobers! Um, so nice and chill. I just need them. Okay. I had taken off clothes, basically, just so I could chill. Basically, I wasn't comfortable. But, uh,. Time to head out on our date night. Date night. Look at this stab girl. So we're pretty much heading out now. We're gonna get some food and then we're gonna be going to the cinema. So let's go. Alright guys, we are in City Rocks now. There's Sarah. So we've ordered food, we have we have our drinks and we ordered our food and now we're going to so, have the food and then go to the food. And go to the food. Here's our food, guys. We have boneless ba baskets, so barbecue, uh, boneless wings with chips and garlic. Sarah got the same? Yeah? Yeah. Alright, guys, we have our stuff. We got popcorn, we got drink, we got chocolate. This was only for your show, why not? So with the uh, container from the film, which uh, the drink out of, so it's pretty good. So Sarah's gone to the loop. So once she comes out, we'll be going to watch the film. Hey guys, this is our movie theater for today. There you go for the X. Look at that big giant stars and all like that, and the screen and all. Sarah's after finding our seats. So what this is, it's a movie where you actually feel the explosions. Sometimes there's like, if it's got to do with water or something like that, it'll spray water at you, etc, etc. So, 
I know. It's gonna be mad. It's fun. <laughs> We are situated in our seats for the movie, so all of those are fans of the movie. I'll give fans of the movie, I don't know if you can see out now. But, uh, yeah. There's also a water button for on and off if you if you don't want to get wet and or you don't mind getting splashed, which is quite unique. I'm going to leave mine on. I don't care. I'm going to be getting changing my clothes. Okay. So it's all good. Yeah. So I'm going to see if this movie has water in it. Won't we? This is going to be awesome. Excuse me. Alright guys, we are finished in the cinema. We'll give you a proper uh, review basically on this when we get back to the hotel. We're about... Two seconds away. Two seconds. Well, two minutes away, say. No. Wait, that minute. minute. Sorry. Uh, it's, also, <laughs> it's also it's also raining, so I don't want my phone not working basically. So we'll see you back in the room. Right, so basically we're back up the ro room. Um, Sarah's been taking off the makeup, and what else have you been doing, Sarah? Face mask. Sarah did a face mask. Sorry, I didn't capture that case. <laughs> we were chatting. It wasn't a very important one. I'm trying to just get rid of spots on my chin. Yeah. So, I know. I was showing Sarah uh, two videos. So, what? what are you doing? I'm taking out my hand cream and my nose ring. Okay. Uh, I was showing Sarah <laughs> two people I've seen on. TikTok basically um, that did reviews on the Madam Web film that we had seen. Now I had said it before we had, I think it was no, what? it was when we were at Book of Kells. I had said it to her that oh. there there's two people at least or maybe a few people basically saying about Madam Web film being dirt. dirt. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Right. I'm going to say to you, I'm not really intelligent, but I do have an opinion at the end of the day, and you know, my opinion is my opinion. Same for Sarah, her opinion is... I'm hitting off the storage, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Sarah's opinion is her opinion, you know, it's just all opinions, right? I enjoyed the film. It was its own story. It was also a origin story. So... There wasn't much to fit into the film that, you know, you're like, oh, it has to be action pack, you know, it's uh, better off n not being a solo film and having extra bits and all like that. At the same time, as Sarah was saying to me, at the end of the day, is if you end a particular film a specific way or show only part of it and not the full part, you'll get more movies. You know? Pretty much what I said. I was like, when I was watching it, I just presumed they ended it that way solely because they want to make more films to do with them characters. Yeah. I just presumed that's the way they ended it. Do I wish the girls, it showed how they get their powers and them in their costumes? Yeah, 100% I wish that, they, that it did that. But do I think they're going to do other movies where they get their powers? Yeah. 100% and I think that'd be really cool to watch as a series then yeah. so I do plus it's all about like female power women empowerment and all like that showing that we can be the strong ones and fight off the bad guys and all which I love do I feel the script was really really iffy yeah okay it could have been done better 100% could have been done better but the fact that I finished sleep through Morpheus and the Flash and have we haven't had a decent Batman movie in, in years since Kristen Bell yeah, at least, at mm. least since him, like we have, like the only um, Batman movies I really like are Batman and Robin, Batman Forever, and then the Dark Knight series with Heath Ledger as the Joker. Uh -huh. Like they're the only that's Christian Bale, yeah? yeah. So they're the only Batman ones. Like they barely ever do decent films anymore. You don't get a decent superhero film anymore. You're expecting way too much because of what Marvel has done. Yeah. You're expecting way, way too much from superheroes nowadays. Even the same for that guys and it's hilarious because I don't know if I said this to you before Sarah, they 
have ended the DC universe after uh, the newest Aquaman. Yeah, and they're going to restart it for him. This is what attempt? Are they on there? Like I haven't got a clue, but all I can say is it's done by James Gunn. Okay, he's taken okay. over. He's he's a uh, Guardians of Galaxy. Guardians of Galaxy, no? yeah, yeah. So we'll see how that goes because if he can do Guardians, he does good, a really really good Guardians. He can Galaxy. do DC good. Okay, okay. I'll I'll give it another chance. But then. until it happens, uh, DC films aren't too great. DC shows all the same. Um, The Flash, uh, Star Girl, I enjoyed. Not too great with Swamp Thing, only got one season. But uh, um, Swamp Thing didn't even make it onto the TV. It got through a pilot and then that was it. But uh, also Teen Titans Go, brilliant. I have to say I enjoyed, enjoy that one. That one's a very good one. Um, but all the same, I enjoyed Madam Web. I will give it a solid 9 out of 10. You're giving it a 9? I'm giving it a 9. Oh, not bad stuff. Yeah. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the origin of it all. Um, the scenes were decent enough of action packed kind of, you know. Um, acting wasn't too bad. A few bits they could fix. Um, in the small, in the small run of it all, but I enjoyed it. And like, even for like going to see it in what was a four XD, like. That's literally you. Basically, if no one understands what four XD is, is makes you feel more into the film. So like there was car scenes, chase scenes, and all that in this film, and you like it, the the chair like shook and all like that as like if you were in a car basically, or it was cold outside and there was a bit of air, it blew air onto your neck, you know, just kind of making you feel. I watched that film. No bothers as a generic film and not four XD. You know, uh, that's my take on it, sir. Yeah, totally. I can't get piercing yet. But um, Sorry. it was good. It was something new. We we we've been trying new things on this holiday, which has been amazing. You know, we've done photo boots. We've done museums. We've done museums that we have done before, but we haven't done it in a while. Uh, we're eating out in new places like our pancakes we had it from a place called Wishbone which was good and tasty and all like that and the cinema was new for us we went out for a later night showing out in town not just out to the organ and back basically uh, which we that's where our usual cinema is that we go to it's only that we're out here and it's new like we try it and also, it was 4XD, which we don't go see movies in that, because most of our cinemas don't have that for one. And it's out here, out in town. So, it was a fun experience. We got a nice little massage from the chair, so we did. Um, I, kept this piercing I definitely need to, if I'm going to see another film, bring a pillow. Because it hurts your booty. And well, it hurts my booty because I don't have one. But... Uh, everything else was grand. My back's fine. Uh, my eyes don't hurt because like there was like messages of photo epilepsy and uh, all the other things that would affect you like back breaking, back stuff and neck stuff and it was fine. It's fine. I enjoyed it. But uh, Madam Web is definitely for people. Anyone watching on our page, go and see it. We enjoyed it. We give it a 10 out of 10 and a thumbs up. And your opinion is your opinion. If you didn't like it, it's fine. You can put that down in the comments and we'll read it and comment back and all that stuff. But Sarah's currently doing what you're doing now. I'm trying to get a piercing in. We're not going in. Okay. Sarah's, Sarah got a new piercing, so she's trying to figure it out if it's working or not. I got the old one back in. Yeah, but uh, it's not for me. we're gonna days. chill for another few minutes. I'm gonna. Well, I'm still having my drink. Are you having your drink? I'll have a drink. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have, to have a little drink tonight, and then we've got a semi-long day tomorrow. 
um, because we're doing most stuff in the morning slash kind of lunchtime and then hotel for the rest of the night. Yes. Uh, tomorrow's vlog. But we'll still make it interesting because we're doing beauty bits, baths, showers, all that stuff. And yeah, so we'll, we'll see you in that vlog basically. But we're not ending it here, so we'll just I'll give you a review on the Madam Web and pretty much let you know what we're doing. So we're going to watch a bit of YouTube, probably play, play a bit of Xbox. We'll see what we like to use now. Anyway, sir. Hi, I'm recording you. Hi, I turned Hi. down my phone, don't worry. It's okay. So, anyway, guys, I could not hold my piss yes. I could not hold my piss. So, Sarah received her Valentine's gifts yesterday. Partially today as well. Was it? Yeah. One thing was today. Yeah. So, I am apologize I didn't capture the moment, but at the same time, she is over the moon with the bits that I got. I was a pure Irish lad and made her feel like a complete princess. Just a bit. Didn't I? You made me feel like what my name means. Princess. Princess, princess Sarah. That's me. So Sarah, forget about what I say. In your experience, how do you find your Valentine's and how do you find your Valentine's presents? One of them is hilarious, because I'll explain that in a minute. Um. So the first present I got was a single red rose. So it was. I don't know how to show that yet. That's the first present I got. So we got that in Tesco and it comes like it was sealed on the end with the water and all like that. So it's like freshness for up to five days, which is pretty dope. Um, and then the next couple of bits that I got, one is I got second, which is a necklace. Oh, actually that's not there. Oh, oh, it's in the bag still, sorry. Um, I got a necklace from a shop, I can't pronounce the name of it, Lovisa. It's a new shop, basically. You would, you would have seen it in a, or yesterday's vlog. Yeah. Um, so Graham actually got me a necklace in there, which we'll show you obviously later. But then the next three things I got was hilarious. So he asked me, did I want a teddy? And yes, even though I know today I did get this. Yeah. Um, he actually got me a Valentine's Minnie Mouse teddy from the Disney shop. Um, and then I, when he was going up, because he was going to, I knew I was getting that. So I did, because he was like, do you want it? And I was kind of like, yeah, I wouldn't mind it, you know. Sarah didn't bring a teddy on this holiday, by the way, guys. I so. kind of wanted a teddy to cuddle with. Anyway, um, I forgot my teddy bear. I'm a 30 year old woman, I know. Anyway, but the funny part of it was, I had found a bag, a Moana bag, um, on sale for like seven fifty, and I was like, "Oh my god, Graham, I want to get this bag. It's only seven fifty. It's the perfect little bag for summer and all." And uh, because he was going up to pay for it, I was like, "Right, you take the bag, pay for it. I'll give you the money back." And that was the agreement we had. But then when he walked out, he goes, "This is your present." So he had actually bought me the bag as my present, with the Minnie Mouse teddy inside, and. My Atlantis pin that I've been wanting and dying for, but would not willing to spend the money to buy because it's a bit much for a pin. Um, in everyone's opinion, I would say besides pin collector like me. But um, what I will, what I showed them, the reason I want it. Yeah, you showed them after because you, I'm gonna take a picture for you okay. on your phone. Um, I'll show you in a minute why I really, really wanted it. But it's an amazing pin. Um. And I have wanted it since I seen it was out. So I did get he did give me that as well. And then today, which you would have seen, we went to Butler's Chocolates, and he actually got a box of chocolates made up for me. A custom box. A custom box. I got to pick what chocolates went in. Ribbon and all, and the chocolates that Sarah picked also went into the box. So yeah. it's a homemade uh, so I gift my box. Chocolates. So even more spoiled. Yeah. So her bits are there, as you can see. Hold on. So why is it not for? There we go. So yeah. So that's what I got her. Yeah, and I'm picking up Graham's Valentine's presents tomorrow because I don't get paid until Thursday. Yeah, but you'll see a clip in this well, video. Well, I will. You will see, but I'm not. I don't get paid till Thursday. So even though Graham's getting them a day late, he still doesn't mind. I don't mind because he was willing to lend me the money to get everything today. But I was like, no, I want to use my own money. 
I'm not having you lend me money just so I can buy you Valentine's presents. I want to go out and get them. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Yeah. So it is, and you will see it at the end of this vlog, obviously. It'll be like a little snippet inserted. So you won't have to wait till the next video. So yeah. So yeah, no, I'm delighted with all my little bits. And you, I will show you um, them up close. Some of the bits more up close after I get a photo of everything. Well spoiled. Okay, Graham's just over there opening the bottle openers he bought last night, or earlier today. But I wanted to show you a few bits, kind of, so I did. Up close and personal. A little bit closer. So this is the necklace. Whoop, it's a little tangled, but anyway. Not the movie. Bear in mind. But anyway, it's this really cute kind of three-tier necklace. It's a bit tangled at the moment, but it has this cute little locket right here. And we were talking... And we got the portrait pictures done. Thank you. So we did. Uh, we were thinking maybe one of them might be small enough to cut up and put on the inside here. Uh, so we're going to see if we can get that. So we are. So I can wear this with a picture of Graham on the inside. Or Graham and me, I should say, on the inside. Which I think would be really, really cute. Graham's opening his beer. What are you having, Copperberg? Copperberg. He's having a Copperberg. Oh, let me do and throw that all the way over there. Um, so this is the Atlantis pin that I wanted. Um, so for those who don't know me, I'm obsessed with Atlantis. This is also limited edition, which is amazing. Yeah, okay. So for those who don't know me, I'm obsessed with Atlantis. Not just the Disney movie, but the Lost City itself. Um, Stargate goes into it quite a lot, and I'm obsessed with learning about that. But I do love the Disney movie, Atlantis, and like this little crystal here, which I actually have... Not a replica, but I have a necklace at home that's quite similar to it. But this is why I wanted this one. Ooh. It actually opens up and has like... So this is one of their flying machines. And you actually have Milo and Kira uh, in the flying machine. It is so frigging cool. It's magnetic. So it looks a little bit like his... Um, is that Milo and Kira or just Milo? Oh no, it's just Milo. It's magnetic so it stays closed and all that now this is a special one so this one's not going on a bag or a jacket or anything um mostly because i'm getting afraid of putting pins on stuff now i lost the back off one of my pins and it's very sad um so i had to remove one of the pins from my bag very sad but anyway so this is like the reason why i wanted this and i'm going to pause the video for a second because i am going to open up my butler's chocolates to show you my chocolates because i haven't even seen the inside of this yet so this is going to be Pretty damn cool, so two seconds. Graham is handyman today. Okay, so this is freshly done today. They even mark it on the back. So they do. So remove this. It's all professionally made. Graham was standing in the shop watching them like put everything in and so he was. Well I went to the bathroom. Yeah, there's another way they were there's another way when you're baking like cupcakes and yeah. Yeah, uh, you have the little plastic things that you put the yeah. fuses on. <laughs> okay, so there's the wrapper bit off. I've never gotten a box of butter chocolate, so I don't know what way they come. So you then open it like this. Oh, wow, very secure. There's a tape there. This just has to be ripped. Another layer, wow, we're, we're really playing past the parcel here, lads. Ta-da! And there it is. So there is only one there. So like there's nothing below this tray. So I got two white chocolate flakes, two milk truffles and three chocolate flakes. Because the flakes are my favourite. And I do quite like the truffle. It's a little bit like a lint. So I do quite like the truffle. The double chocolate I don't like. But the flakes here are my favourite. I actually have a, another chocolate flake over in the bag that I might just insert in here. Just for safekeeping because they're in the bag. And uh, yeah. <laughs> but I am going to eat these. I also have a Twinkie that I want to eat. So I'm going to get my Twinkie. I have my chocolates. I have my, what am I drinking? Pina Colada. And I'm going to get my book. And I'm going to read, eat some chocolates, have a drink and relax. That's my plans for tonight. Right, Sarah's just going through her Valentine's gifts. So she is. We're also having a drink. Drink El Drinky Poo. 
So I'm on Mixed Fruits Copperberg, one of my favourite ones, along with Orchard Hughes, but Orchard Hughes Dangerous, uh, quite high up there, you know, so. Not messy, as the necklace film. Not used to wearing such a chunky big necklace in the sense of like multiple layers. Yeah. But I can definitely picture wearing it like on lights out and all. Yeah. It wouldn't be a daily necklace now, definitely not. No. No. You wanna show the peep do you wanna show the peeps what you're drinking? Oh, right, yeah. Malibu cocktail pina colada. I had the Malibu and cola last night and it was massive. So I'm having the pina colada. Graham picked it out for me. I'm having the pina colada now, which is actually really, really nice. And apparently there's a mojito one. So I'm contemplating trying that tomorrow night. So we will see. So we're having, it, having that and relaxing. And Sarah's going through her present. And I'm going to go read. That's the plan. Right, just a little added extra video here. Uh, I'm more likely going to post this up on Instagram as well. Just for this. I got this new bar in the sweet shop, uh, Munch Diddly's. It is a Kit Kat uh, chocolate, chocolate frosted donut. And I'm gonna try it, which is on this. Sarah will try it as well, but uh, I'll show you. So let me just take it out of the pack, and we'll take a bite. Okay, so here it is. Looks, It looks a bit like a, do you know what it looks like? It looks like a caramel slice from a... It smells like caramel. From a, what you call it? A, Pastry cafe or whatever. It so smells it is. like caramel. It smells interesting. So, are you ready? Yeah. On the count of three. One, two, three. Um, Sorry. Sweet enough. I can tell you that. I definitely don't think it tastes like a frosted donut. No, definitely. I don't taste no donut. <laughs> yeah, just put that to the side. Um, yeah, there it is. It doesn't taste like a frosted donut. But it's not bad. I'll, I'll eat it. I'll finish it. Yeah. But, um, um, 7 out of 10? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. A little taste for you. A little taster for this part of this segment. <laughs> and uh, I'll post this video also on Instagram. So if people haven't seen it, just go check it out on Instagram. But, uh, yeah. Hey guys, just a pre loaded clip here for you. I did an order with My Sweet Coco, uh, a basically hot chocolate bomb business. So I have ordered, and which I have received today. Which is what day, sir? Today is Friday the 12th. Friday the 12th uh, of February. And it's Valentine's Chocolate Bombs. I have gotten this for my Sarah. Valentine. Valentine's special. So we will be having one each day. Because the only bad thing about not being able to bring this is there's no chocolate froth or not the heat up milk out there. So we have to have it each day until we, we go. We have to have them now before we go, yeah. yeah. So I will do clips for this and you will see us trying it. But uh, thank you, my sweet Coco, or in this case, as we know you, Eddie. So, Edelin, thank you. Hi guys, it's that part of the night. We are going another hot chocolate bomb. This one is Ferrero Rocher. In this here? Yeah. So, boom. So, we'll see you guys in a minute. I don't know, only time will tell, so get your ass over here. Don't say that on the video. That's a bold word. So, photo bomb. Okay, photo bomb. Yeah, photo bomb. Chocolate bomb is ready. There's the milk. Milk chocolate one takes a little bit longer to melt, doesn't it? Oh, oh, never mind. Boop. So Titanic. It went down. 
Oh, that was good. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? That um, melted proper now. Yeah, that was savage. Sarah, how's yours gone? It is so good. Do you like it? Yes. I don't like the chocolate for a rush out to eat. Mm-hmm. But I like this hot chocolate. Nice. Well, it's my go. So it's El Biscoff. Biscoff, which I'm going to take the Biscoff off now. Yeah. Biscuit off. <laughs> so let me slap it in here like that and then take off the biscuit. Biscuit. And then use the crack. So we'll see you in a minute. It's fine. Sorry. In case you guys are wondering, this milk looks different. Games have a normal milk. Mine was oat milk. We ran because out. we ran out of oat milk. <laughs> We'll get more on the way back. Hopefully we can stop off at a super value and get there. Your one's opened already! Oh. Frotty milk. Your one just opened. Okay. Like automatically what I was doing that. Well there you go guys, last but not least. <laughs> Last of her Valentine's hot chocolate. Memo. Memo. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to drink my hot chocolate now. Okay, cool. It's recording. Hello, guys. Uh, this clip is going near the end of this particular vlog. Uh, it's day three. Uh, hello, doggos. But anyway, I'm going to show you what I got from Sarah. For Valentine's. Ah, look at oh, there's a cute doggo and there's a big doggo chasing for the same ball. Sorry, distract. So I'll show you. I'm gonna show you what Sarah got me for Valentine's Day. She is there. Hey, so can you show your face there? Yeah, there she is. So Anna, first little thing. There's a grandma teddy. Now, I'm gonna like it. I actually like. Walsh and Gromit, grew up with them, you know, not the very OG ones, but I did see what they were like, and um, I did watch them on the telly when they were a series, basically, um, and then the movie Curse of the Were Rabbit, I loved, you know, and I like their cl claymation or whatever type of thing that they do in the sense of, like, I enjoyed watching Chicken Run, the new one, uh, Donald the Nugget or something it's called, um, it's good, like, yeah, it's, can't pinpoint, or, sorry, I have a computer, it's after popping up here, or, sorry, laptop, not computer, this is a computer, but anyway, that is one little thing, the next thing is, I got a mystery bag, and there's these things called Bitty Pops, yeah, they're the basically the small versions of the actual pop figures itself. So that's just my one of my four nine ones. But uh I got this little guy. Not great camera but it's uh it's vision as a bitty pop. So I've got two of them now. I've got a Robin one. That there. Uh, and now I have a vision one. So then this small little thing. Uh, bought in Primark. Um, basically, I am, um, I wouldn't say I'm obsessed, but I love the smell of watermelon. And my god, I'm so white, sorry. Let me pull down the blind. No, it's not that actually that bright out. Oh, hold on. Sorry, mate. White arms. I don't know. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. But anyway, is this. And this is a watermelon. Great camera light. But uh, it is watermelon lip balm. I have a watermelon scrub. I had a candle, uh, which was savage. And now I have a lip balm. So then. Um, I want the big ones. Can't go wrong with a bit of chocolate. The giant cabri bar. Okay, up. So I got some taco to eat. 
Oh, let's try that down there. Right, in the ring. People will know. I'm a superhero, blah blah blah. Comic fan, basically. And same for Walking Dead, I love the show. I've read one or two Walking Dead comics, and this one is a new one that I haven't read, which is The Walking Dead Deluxe. Is it? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Deluxe. So, we'll see what story is in this one. I actually don't know. See people kissing or hugging against a tree or a balloon. So, but eh. Uh, I'll have a good read of that, so thank you, sir. Uh, then another big buy. Now, Sarah did help me buy this, basically. She didn't buy the full thing, but it was very helpful for her, so thank you, Sarah. What is my Marvel box sets? Now, I've been trying to collect these, get them a bit smaller. Just to show you for a point, because I've been doing it for. Oop. Don't fall. Ow. Uh, I've been doing it for my superhero movies and any movie that has a box set that's well too white. So, for exhibit B, all these movies here, in that. You know, and it's not, look, it's like, uh, lower. There. So it's three movies less as well, plus. All that is in this. So it is. And I have. Sorry, things are wrong. I have two of them now. So, next one is Space Tree. So, I have them. So, I do. Uh, and then, the last thing. I think that's everything in there. Comic, uh, Gromish, Biddy Pop. Um, the lip balm. Yeah, that's it. And then, last but not least, the t-shirt. Coca-Cola. I also got it oversized. Because, you know, I don't own oversized t-shirts. I have very fishish ones. But it's nice to have a, you know, a one that, you know, you can just lay around in basically and you don't feel like... <coughs> so... You know, it's good to have an odd one or two the week, you know. But, um, yeah, that's what I got for Valentine's. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Uh, the rest of the vlog from previous, from this video. And, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. And, hope you had a good Valentine's. Bye!